Hi guys and welcome back today. I want to do a video based on my sort of go-to plugins. Now there's tons of videos out there about how to EQ compress, how to get bigger drums, how to make your mixes sound bigger. But I want to talk about a couple of plugins that I put on my master chain that basically help me reference. Okay, so I'm going to jump straight into it now. And the first plugin is this one here. Now this is reference to by Master in the Mix. Now the reason why I want to touch base on this one is this is something that I have last on my master chain. Now the good thing about this is you can drag in several tracks. So I've got three tracks here that I've basically went on Beatport, bought the WAVs for and dragged in using just this to add reference tracks here. Now the good thing about this is after you've got your original and your reference track, but the key feature why I like this plugin is it's got level match. So I can match to original. So we naturally perceive loudness as better. So, you know, if their mix is slightly louder, we're going to think the better. However, when you gain match, it's more about dynamic range and sort of EQ stereo width, that sort of thing. Uh, you can put them all to minus 14 luffs, what's obviously the normal sort of streaming platforms uh, level there, but I just like the match to original. Um, now, I want to quickly demonstrate this plugin quickly because one, it's convenient because normally you could have maybe three audio tracks down the side here and you solo in each one and go in between them and some are slightly louder and like I was saying, loudness is meant to be perceived as better. That's why there's a whole loudness war going on. Uh, so I want to show how this works. So I'm going to play my remix here of uh, Sonny Fedora's U. Just select it on the original section here and just play it here. <laughs> I just click here to move to the reference track. Go back to the original. So there, you can see here, it's had to reduce the reference track by 1.8 dB. Uh, just so we've got a perfect level there. So as a mix, I'm thinking that's pretty well balanced. Now you've got this display at the bottom here. It's called the Trinity Display. Now you have different settings. You have a level line punch dots and stereo width on this video i just want to touch briefly just to sort of get you introduced to the plugin so level line is basically based on the eq curve and then you switch to the punch dots what's dynamic range and you've got stereo width so that's a great little section there as well uh but yeah i just want to quickly touch base and show you this plugin you have got other cool features like instead of just letting the whole track play you can just loop a section so then when you go from the reference to yours yeah, I'll just keep looping that section. To switch between reference songs, you click these buttons here. Lovely on set of loop. One of the key selling points of this plugin is, so this is technically your um, EQ here. So what you can do is you can actually play your original. And say filter everything under 50 and the same with your reference. Or if you like, uh, let's see how the highs compare. For me, that's a key selling point because instead of hearing the whole sort of picture, you can be like, right, okay, how are their kick and bass sort of working together? How's their highs, you know? And then you can sort of start analyzing things a lot more in depth than the whole picture. You can sort of take the ingredients out the pie sort of thing. Anyway, just check them out. That's Master in the Mix with their plugin reference too. Right now for my second plugin. Now this is slightly different. So my first plugin was a reference to by Master in the Mix. So it's great to use to get a balance of reference track. So sort of keep your ears fresh when you're working on a mix and listen to other mixes to sort of develop yours to often hit the sort of level that it needs to be. This is slightly different. This next plugin puts your mixes in different rooms and environments in your headphones. So you're going to jump straight into it now. Here we go. So you're probably thinking this looks a bit weird i can see myself here i mean you can see my little good vibes led thing here um so this is the wave cla nx now this is great what this basically does is even by wearing headphones it simulates certain rooms so this room here for example now the great thing about this is this room is technically a super well treated um studio and it's great because what it basically does is it simulates their room so you can listen how your vocal your, you know your vocals translating well uh is the bass too much it sort of gives you more of an understanding of how it's going to sound in a different room yes it's not perfect but they have things like the headphone eq here where i've selected my barrel dynamics that i've got on and it basically gives a more accurate eq curve so it does translate a lot better so what i'm gonna do here is i'm actually gonna play my track i'll talk about this head tracker in a second so i'm gonna play the track here and with this on So 
So what it's basically doing is it's trying to simulate and obviously it's modeled off this room. So it's playing my track in their room. Now, when I actually put my headphones on, it does give me the impression if I close my eyes that I'm in a big, well-treated studio. And now you've got three settings here. You've got the CLA 10s and the sub. You've got the mains, what are these big ones here? And you've got a boom box. Play the same track again. I'll swap between the mains and the boom box. You'll hear the difference here. So this is the boom box. Then the mains. Boombox. Then the CLA tens and sub. Now the reason why I like this plugin is because we all do the car test. You know, we all play our mix in the car on our AirPods on the Alex the Alexa. Um to get an accurate sort of mix down on how things are sounding. This is great because in my headphones, no matter where I am, I can hear how things are going to translate roughly. Now, the second thing I want to touch base on is this setting here, the head tracker. So I'm just going to turn this on and I'm going to bring it up here. Now, you can see it's actually tracking which way I'm looking. Now, the good thing about this, I'm going to minimize this for a second, is when I'm playing the song, so obviously I'm sat in a sweet spot here technically, and you can see it's modeled off me here. And when I move, this moves up. Oh, down, up, left, right. So now when I'm playing the track, you'll actually hear if you've got headphones on or listen on speakers. So I'm looking straight here. That's so like I'm in a sweet spot. And I just sit back a bit and just some head. I should be able to hear it coming out your left headphone a lot more. This probably looks weird watching, but yeah, the great thing about this is you can actually hear how your mix is going to sound. And like you would in a normal studio where you know you just sort of you know, no one sits like this. I know it's a sweet spot and you're meant to, but for me, this is a great plugin because I often struggle with getting my my vocal level right, with it being too powerful or not powerful enough or too quiet or too much highs. And th this, for me, is great because I've got another three sort of references to use. You know, I'm not just relying on the car as well as everything else, but this really helps there. But this is a great plugin. I use this pretty much on every mix as plugin number two that I'd super sort of recommend for your referencing. Right, guys, so this is plugin three. Now, this is basically an analyzer, but I noticed everyone was using it. A lot of big DJs, a lot of underground DJs, a lot of pop producers, a lot of trans... It just seemed, every studio seemed to have this analyzer on a screen somewhere, and I finally found out what it is, and I'm going to show you now. So this isn't the analyzer. Uh, this is basically, you go down here, and it's by Flux SE, and you go here, stereo. And what this basically does, this is a sample grabber. So this basically takes information and sends it somewhere. Now the Flux analyzer is a standalone. So what I'm gonna do up here is I'm just gonna go up here, Flux, that's it there, perfect. Now you can see it's loading up here. Now this, you got different views up here. I like the full spectrum. I don't want to go too much in depth with this because I've got a whole other video just on this one plugin. Uh, but you can see when it's playing here, you've got basically what I call a landscape setting. So if I just play this again here, up to your low frequencies here, 20, 10k, 20k, etc., right up to the top. So you can see, you offer you want that as full as possible because then you fill out a spectrum range. This is the flux analyzer, and it's just next level. Right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Like I said, they're my three go-tos. Uh, it's leading up to Christmas, and obviously I've had the Black Friday sales, so I've bought loads of new plugins that I'm super hyped to review. My next couple of videos are going to be reviewing kit plugins, what are quite an up-and-coming uh, sort of brand company, but it's done a great distortion that I got. It's actually free at the minute as well. Um, they've just sent me a compressor. I think they've got a model preamp, uh, as well as I've teamed up with Isotope. I'm going to be reviewing their Nectar 3. I want to touch on Nectar 3 as well because I work with tons of singers and vocalists and they all have a mic but don't know how to sort of process the vocals. So I wanted to team up with Isotope to do a video on basically the basics of getting a nice controlled recording at home using a standalone plugin. That just one plugin does everything for you. So that video is next. Um, but yeah, make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe. Loads more content coming soon, guys. And I'll see you soon.